The key to living a stress-free and fulfilling life is not by chasing money and acquiring material possessions we think are assets, but turn out to be liabilities. I once heard someone say, prosperity is a way of living and thinking, and not just having money or things. If you are new to my channel, my name is Unwana Udo. Every week, I share great content that can help you master your personal finance and grow your wealth. Before we dive into today's topic, please consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss any new updates from me, also smash the bell icon while you are at it. Let's begin. So, what is a budget? Here is a definition of a budget I found while searching on Google, an estimate of income and expenditures for a set period of time. We have been programmed in society to see a budget as a bad thing, or that a budget is a form of punishment and deprivation. Nothing could be further from the truth. Without a budget, you will never achieve financial peace of mind, and you will forever be indebted and live paycheck to paycheck. Did you know that wealthy people still live on a budget? If you want to be wealthy someday, then do what the wealthy do, create a budget. This video is not on the mechanics of creating a budget but rather, on budgeting tips. If you need help creating your budget, I have videos on my channel that shows you how to create a 70, 20, 10, budget, or a 50, 30, 20, budget. Make sure to check out my budgeting tips playlist for more. Here are some great budgeting tips you can apply in your personal finance. Number 1. Maintain a small emergency fund. An emergency fund serves as your safety net in the event of an unexpected situation. A saved amount of $500 to $1,000 will help you to pay for unexpected expenses with cash instead of credit cards. Ideally, you should save at least three to six months worth of your living expenses in a high yield interest savings account. Number 2. Cut back or bundle phone and internet services. You must decide what you really need for data and TV channels and then shop around for the best bundle package. Most people have gotten rid of cable altogether, they use an old-fashioned antenna for free local stations and find low monthly internet rates for computer usage. In addition, a vast majority of people now subscribe to streaming services online for movies, etc. Number 3. Watch what you eat. You should eat at home whenever possible. A rotisserie chicken dinner with vegetables from a restaurant could cost you around $13.95 not counting tips and beverages, while the same meal may cost you $7.50 at home. When you go grocery shopping, go prepared. Research has shown that almost 70% of purchases are impulse buys, so make a list beforehand and stick to it while also using coupons. Prepare your lunches at home so you eat healthier and spend less. Order your groceries online to avoid overspending by visiting grocery stores. Make your coffee or tea at home, the average K-cup costs 75 cents compared to $4 for a cup of coffee at your local coffee shop. Number 4. Watch your bank accounts. Look for bank accounts with no monthly fees, make sure to set low balance alerts to avoid overdrafts. Make sure to check your balance before you write a check or use your debit card. Number 5. Cut down on your electricity usage. Electricity can be expensive, so be mindful of how much electricity you use. Did you know that two inefficient light bulbs use the same amount of electricity as a large computer? So get energy efficient light bulbs and turn them off when not in use. Avoid vampire drains, which result from the power that is slowly sapped by electronics, such as stereos, workout machines, and kitchen appliances that are infrequently used. Just unplug them until they are needed. Also, air conditioners are the biggest power users, so do not keep your thermostats at sub-freezing temperatures. Use fans to circulate air. Insulate your windows to cut down on heat radiation, turn off pre-programmed utilities, like the AC, heating, and your sprinkler systems which kick on even when they are not needed. Number 6. Freeze all weekend shopping sprees. Try to go an entire Saturday and Sunday without buying anything. Eat what you have in your refrigerator, drink what is in your liquor cabinet. Instead of going to a movie, watch one on TV, try reading a book, take your kids to a park, or play a board game with your family. Not only will you save some money, but you might discover some of the best things in life really are free. Number 7. Make smart purchases. Search for sales, compare prices and control buyers' impulses. Ask yourself, do I really need it? Number 8. Lower the temperature on your hot water heater. Your hot water heater is a major source of energy drain in most homes, accounting for about 15% of energy costs. 
Usually, the water is kept hotter than most people ever need, and the heat is constantly lost to the environment, which means that you have to burn more energy than ever to keep the water so hot. Number 8. Cut back on your entertainment expenses. Most people look at entertainment as the first thing to cut when trying to reduce costs, but they often forget to look at the regular expenses that slowly eat away at their financial foundation month in month out. Here are some things to consider that you may have overlooked. Plan smart vacations. Take vacation trips midweek to get the cheapest tickets for the week, plan to dine in most days, if you do not want to travel with food, go to the local grocery store after you arrive at your destination. Travel in the off-season since prices are usually lower in the off-season. Hotels are less expensive in the fall on the east coast. Cruises are less expensive in the hurricane season months. Disney is less expensive prior to holiday weekends, know what the off-season is for the area you wish to visit, and do take advantage of the lower prices. Plan ahead by buying incidentals at home such as toothbrushes, medications, sunblock lotions, and other health and beauty accessories like these can be very expensive at resorts and tourist destinations. Plan and pack these items prior to traveling because you will as much as one quarter less at home than you would at a hotel gift shop. Consider where to cut back. Do you really need a $300 a night hotel? Most of the time, a hotel will just be somewhere to sleep so you do not have to overspend on a luxury hotel room. If you need a rental car, maybe consider a standard size vehicle, do you really need a super deluxe SUV? Number 9. Cancel your club memberships. If you are using a gym membership less than once a week or a country club membership less than once a month, you should consider cancelling your memberships because you are just throwing money away. Number 10. Cancel your newspaper and magazine subscriptions. If you get a magazine or newspaper in the mail but do not have time to read it, cancel that subscription. An unread subscription is nothing more than expensive clutter in your home. There are better alternatives online for free. Number 11. Buy generic when you can. Many products are available in a store brand or generic form for less money, so make sure to take advantage of this. Number 12. Find creative ways to start saving. One of the most basic financial planning goals is to accumulate money. Money can be accumulated in a number of ways. A common way is to save money each year by spending less than your income every year, so make savings a habit. Number 13. Tax planning. Take advantage of tax planning opportunities, this can result in paying less tax, which means you keep more of your income. As usual, I am not a tax professional, make sure to seek professional advice before making any financial decisions. Number 14. Refinance your mortgage. Most financial experts recommend that you refinance your mortgage in times of low interest rates, and currently, as of the making of this video, we have unprecedented low interest rates, so take advantage of these rates. Call your mortgage lender and find out if they offer bi-weekly payment schedules because this can reduce the interest over the life of your mortgage by making payments more frequently. Remember, I am not a mortgage professional, make sure to seek professional advice. Number 15. Pay off your credit cards fast. Did you know that a $10,000 credit card debt at 18% with a $200 per month payment will take you approximately 8 years to pay it off? If the rate is only 10%, it will take you over 5 years to pay it off. Also, consider transferring your current balances to a lower rate credit card, this will help you pay off the balance faster. Number 16. If your employer offers a 401k plan, make sure to enroll. When you contribute pre-tax dollars to a 401k plan, the amount of your pay that is subject to taxes is lowered by the amount of your before-tax contributions. This means that you pay less in taxes and receive more take-home pay, in addition, some employers will match your contribution up to a certain limit, which is basically free money to you. This only applies if you are in the USA. So if you are watching this video from another country, make sure to take advantage of similar retirement plans in your particular country. There you have it, how to budget money for beginners. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and share this video with anyone you feel would benefit from it. Thank you for watching this far and I will see you in my next video.